Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. I've gotten a ton of questions in the past either through YouTube or also Instagram as well over what my favorite bridal lip colors are. So I figured I'd make a whole entire dedicated video over this. Okay, I just wanted to zoom you guys in a little bit closer just because I wanted you to be able to see all of the lipstick swatches and like how it looks with my overall complexion. I'm going to start off with my lip liners first because I have a ton of lip liners, guys. So this one is from Charlotte Tilbury and it looks like this. And this is the color Super Size Me. I do terrible swatches, by the way, so you're gonna have to excuse me. So that is how it looks on my hand. It's more of like a peachy kind of color. Let me go ahead and fill in my lips and then I'll show you what it looks like here. And it's more of like a mid-tone kind of color, I would say, just because usually I put a more neutral color on the inside of it. So then this one just goes on the outside. But in case you guys wanted to see what it looks like all over my lips, then that is what it looks like here. So that is Super Size Me. The next lip liner I'm going to talk about is actually this one right here. This is from Usum Cosmetics. They have these double-ended lip liners, which I think are honestly very, very handy. This one is in the shade Blushed. And honestly, I like both ends of this for bridal lip colors. The one really nice thing about these is these are so freaking waterproof. I did swatches on my Instagram stories and literally tried to rub as hard as I could to get them off and they did not budge. Like they are super waterproof. They are also the most creamy of all of my lip liners. So for how creamy they are, they stay really, really well. As I said before, they are double-ended. So you basically have two pencils in one. It's really nice because literally you can minimize the amount of pencils that you have. I literally forgot to hit the record button. This video is already starting off great. I just popped on this pink side right here of the lip liner that I was talking about and this is what it looks like here. It's about the same undertone as the other one that I swatched, which was Super Size Me. And then I also did put it on my hand as well. So you can see they're very similar in undertone. They both have more of a pink shift to them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy off and then I'm going to swatch the more brown tone nude side of this one. I will tell you guys that these are by far the smoothest lip liners that I've ever found before. And then as you guys can tell, this is a little bit more brown tone. That is a little bit more warm tone than the other ones here. I think they're the perfect lip liner colors for like literally any look that you do from a light to medium skin tone. Okay, the next color I have is also from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pillow Talk Medium. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it here. And this one is more of like a deeper kind of mauve. I honestly love the tone. Actually, it kind of like matches the, <laughs> this a little bit. And then let me put a swatch right here. What's really funny is it's honestly kind of like a combination of these two right here. That is what Pillow Talk Medium looks like. Then I'm gonna go on to one of my favorite lip liners. This is another Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, guys. I literally just hauled a whole bunch of these. So that's why I'm like literally on the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner thing. And this is in the shade Love Trap. I will go ahead and do a swatch first. So as you can tell, this one is more brown than all the rest of these pretty much. Like it's a more neutral tone brown. But I feel like brown lip liners like this can fade into like anything. They can fade into pinks. They can fade into warm tones. It's just a very universal kind of color. Obviously that's why a lot of browns look really good on everybody's skin tones, especially when you're doing it for eyeshadow colors. I feel like the more I'm going on, the worse this is getting. <laughs> That is what that looks like here. Then I did take my label maker and label all these just so they're easily accessible because I usually put mine up like this just so I can read them really easily when I'm grabbing for them in my kit. Don't mind me. I'm starting to get that like ring around my mouth here as I'm removing all of these. This is one of my favorite neutral lip shades too. This is in the shade Sugar and Spice. It's by Gerard Cosmetics. The Gerard Cosmetics kind of have the consistency of the Usum ones. They're very creamy too. They're just not as waterproof. You may not be able to see a difference because it's literally like the same color as my lips. <laughs> Like literally look, it's like almost the same color. It just made them a little bit more brown. See, I feel like it's very similar to this one here that we just swatched. That is Sugar and Spice, one of my faves. Next, the one I wanna mention is actually another one of the double-ended ones from Usum, except for I'm only gonna talk about this one side. The other one is more of like a dark plummy kind of color, and that's actually what this lip liner is called. It's called Plum. This deeper shade on one side, which you can totally use for a more wine plum tone um, lip color if you want to. And then this is actually the side I wanted to talk about. This is the neutral side. I just love how freaking creamy these are. Look at how pretty that is. And I'm going to make it its own row. See, I feel like all these look different to me, but they're still kind of the same. You know, like all nude shades are going to be kind of similar to each other. That's the other side of the lip liner, but it's just like a deep, deep purple. And yeah, that's what the plum shade in the Usum Cosmetics lip liner looks like. Another double-ended one. Then the last lip liner I'm going to swatch is Charlotte Tilbury again. And this is in the shade Pillow Talk Intense. It's just a really deep brown. It honestly is kind of a dupe for MAC Chestnut. And it's a very like neutral 
slash cool tone brown that can pretty much work for really, really deep complexions. You fade them into like a really nude color. You just top it off with a gloss and Mm, you got it. I really like this a lot for deeper complexions, but on me, it's just gonna look like a deeper, like, brown color, obviously. I know this is not even by any means, just to give you a good idea of what the color looks like. Again, obviously not neutral on my skin tone, but just imagine on a deeper complexion. But yeah, that is it for the lip liners. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this guy and then I'm gonna move on to the lipsticks. Okay, I went ahead and just put concealer all over my lips and everything because um, I was getting that weird red ring around my mouth. So the very first color I'm actually going to talk about for lipsticks, I'm just gonna go light to dark probably. This is a MAC lipstick and it's in the shade Cream Cup. This is just like a light pink kind of color. I will let you know that this one does look very, very light and ashy and very pink because my skin tone does not accommodate this or its undertone. This is also one I use in my kit. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little doe foot applicator here and just scoop out some of this so I can use it hygienically on myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the disaster that it looks like on myself. Yeah, like look at that. Uh, I just freaking love the scent of MAC lipsticks though. <laughs> That's all I would do whenever I worked at MAC. I would just like smell the lipsticks, especially if they were like freshly opened ones. Also comment down below if you guys started watching YouTube in like the OG days where people had those massive like MAC lipstick collections and all they did was like do swatches on their channel. I'm not even swatching that many things and my lips already hurt. I can't even imagine what the people went through that had like a hundred plus MAC lipsticks. And then with my doe foot applicator, I'm just gonna swatch it right here to show you guys what it actually looks like. Cream cap almost kind of has like a peachy pink kind of undertone. So now now I'm basically going to show you guys what this would look like if I put a lip liner with it and try to do that ombre trick with you guys. So I'm going to go in with Pillow Talk Medium and then I'm just going to put this right over the edges. I did like a really bad lip liner job because obviously the lip liner usually goes on first and then the lipstick fades into it. <laughs> but you guys can kind of get the concept. Like this is a darker lip liner. So now it just looks like it kind of fades more into my lip color. So that's the exact same concept that you want to use with deeper complexions. It honestly works really nicely. All right, the next one that I just found recently that I've honestly really been loving is a pretty affordable lipstick. This is actually an Essence lipstick right here. And this is in the shade 09 Special. This is obviously more of a peachy kind of nude color. Very, very pretty, honestly. And this one almost kind of has like a peachy kind of scent to it. And this one's a little bit too light for my complexion as well, but at least the undertone suits it a little bit more. And then I'll just swatch this one right next to um, Cream Cup here. And then the only rule when you're combining lip liners with lipsticks is make sure you follow the same undertone unless they're a neutral brown color because obviously being a neutral brown, you can pair that with anything. But for instance, um, the last one was a little bit more of on the pink side, so I paired it more with a pink lip liner. This one is going to be paired with a brown lip liner. So I'm going to go in with Love Trap on this one. That's pretty much how it looks like with a brown lip liner on it. All right, this is one that literally took me forever to jump on the bandwagon. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. This one looks like this. It's a little bit more of like a deep brown um, peach kind of color. I don't know, I'm horrible at describing colors, guys. I'm so sorry. And these ones are kind of pricey. I believe these are like $34 without a discount. Charlotte Tilbury though, you can apply for a pro discount if you are a professional makeup artist and you get 40% off. So I feel like that does help you cut costs a little bit. Sorry, there's like literally kids that are like running by the window. Our neighbor kids threw their football accidentally in our backyard, so they want to go get it, but now they're just playing football on our front lawn. This is what that color looks like. So it's just a deeper peach color than the Essence one. They're pretty much like the same undertone almost, except for this one's just a little bit deeper. So this one is one of the Sephora brand lipsticks and these guys are a little bit more affordable too. I think these might be like $8 a piece. This is part of the Lip Stories and this is in the shade Wee. And this is just a true mauve kind of tone. I could totally use this alone on my complexion, but on anybody who's lighter skin tone than me that actually wants a nude lipstick, I would personally mix it with Cream Cup and those two make a beautiful combo. Yeah, so as you guys can tell, it's almost like a combination of like this one and this one kind of, like the ones on the ends, it's almost kind of like a combo of the two of them. All right, then these last two I'm gonna mention are two of the lipsticks that I actually bought from Merit Beauty. And I did swatches of these in my Merit Beauty review. The first one that I'm gonna go over is the shade Slip. This one's just a deeper brown sort of tone. It leans a little bit more on the warm side. These ones also aren't like super pigmented. Like you have to actually swipe them quite a bit of times to build the pigmentation up. And these are my own, just to let you guys know, like I don't have these in my bridal kit 
it, so that's why I'm using them directly. <laughs> yeah, that's what slip looks like. And then I will go ahead and swatch it right here. Just a little bit more warm tone than that one right here. And then this one right here is the color Baby. And this is still like a mid-tone kind of color, but it has a little bit more of a pink tint to it. Kids are walking by the window again. It's just a combination of a brown and a pink together. And honestly, it's like the perfect bridal lip color. That is baby swatched right there. But yeah, anyways, that is it for this video. That is all the lip liners and lipsticks that I really, really love. I will be linking all of the products that I mentioned down the description bar down below if you guys are curious. If you guys really enjoyed the video, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as also subscribe me down below to my channel. I do upload a ton of makeup artist related content. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.